understanding comes in two versions. The first version is that moment when we get something. When the logic of the occurrence fits my perception and I say I understand it. When I first begin to learn the logic of algebra, for example, if 2x equals 30, what is x? And I get that I can apply the rules I learned here to other mathematical challenges in the future. I understand this type of word problem. It's an intellectual exchange of knowledge. And there's another version, one that speaks more to emotional interpretations. I hear this usage in exclamations such as, you just don't understand me, and mainstream America doesn't understand the black experience, in Ferguson, for example. This version seems to require experience to accomplish understanding. Without the experience, I cannot see an avenue to understanding. I can't recite the word problem and write a rule like I can in algebra. I can't disregard all my cultural and knower-judger rules and just switch to another perception. And I use the term perception because reality probably hovers somewhere in between the two perceptions. I can empathize with the black experience in Ferguson. I can look at the data, if I can get any unfiltered data, and develop some perceptions of the black experience. I can't see a way to understand the black experience because it's not my experience. This isn't algebra. I'm particularly concerned about this because I list among many of my close friends, African Americans I respect and interact with on a regular basis. And it's becoming obvious I don't really understand them or their situation, nor they me or mine. What do I mean when I say that? I'm saying that my knower judger, that part of me with the rules of life, right, wrong, good, bad, etc., learned at my parents' knees, has very little in common with the others. Actually, it has very little in common with lots of other important people in my life. And I get along with them, well, most of them, just fine. Why? Because I want to. My aha moment in this is that I do not need to understand in order to have a productive relationship. I am best served by simply letting go of my knower-judger rules and observing from my learner-researcher what's important in order to achieve what I want. And in this case, I want a quality relationship. Can we do this with whole populations? I believe in my heart of hearts that we can if it's important and we want to bad enough. In certain corners of the Ferguson conflict, we've already begun to do that. Boarded over windows of black businesses have been painted and decorated by white volunteers. Do they totally understand each other? No. Is it necessary? How about Palestinians and Israelis? Can they understand each other? I'd guess that's a stretch. Is it necessary for them to fire weapons at each other? That's not a rhetorical question, is it? Their mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, generations of families, stuffed into borders designed as a solution by the UN in 1947, which never worked. Governmental knower judges ruling the day. I don't expect to resolve all this in a four minute video. I'm reminded of World War I Christmas truce of 1914. Google it. It's very inspirational. I just hope I can invoke the Christmas spirit long enough to convince you to experiment with letting go, even if for just a day or two, or a month, or a year, or a lifetime, of some of your knower judger rules that keep you from empathizing with people who aren't like you. Merry Christmas, I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.